Hi everybody, welcome to Mark's Backyard Birds. Today I've got uh, some video clips from the new Birds, B-E-R-D-Z, uh, smart bird feeder I have on my deck at the house. And we are selling at the store now. I, I've really been pleased with the product and I thought you'd enjoy some of these clips. I, uh, the chickadee, there he is. Started, I've got a really uh, a chickadee with an abnormal face there. You can see the black mark on the side of his, the right side of his face. It's, it's kind of unusual. Uh, there's a male house finch ran him off a minute ago. Now he's back there. So I thought I would just go through and kind of narrate um, what's going on. Uh, I the, the feeder has the ability uh, to have different forks for fruit and a cup for mealworms. This is a, an adult blue jay, uh, which I, when I put in the in shell peanuts into the tray, they really like that. We'll see some of that. And this is a juvenile uh, blue jay. See how few head feathers he has right now and how much they love the peanuts and it's kind of fun watching them try to, to grab as many peanuts as they possibly can and fly off into the woods. They they you know, blue jays are known for uh, caching their food, and they do it with acorns. And of course, in shell peanuts are a favorite, uh, and in shell and out of shell peanuts too. And these blue jays, once they start coming into the feeder, they uh, will come in and sometimes completely empty the the peanuts. And you see them grab one and grab two sometimes. And the blue jays. Love them, but also the titmice come in and get the peanuts as well as the chickadees will fly off with them. I love the juvenile blue jay with the head feathers. So they're just like uh, uh, they're not all fully grown in yet, and they it makes them look funny with that very very gray about them. Um, the the picture up in the upper left is the, the front view of the feeder, uh, and then of course I've got it face. I've, I've tried facing it three or four different directions since I installed it, uh, just to see you know, what the reaction would be. And uh, I really start out initially start out initially with uh, Mark's uh, no waste blend uh, bird seed in it, and of course I had some squirrel activity because they can get right to it because it's right on the deck railing. So I eventually had to switch out to um, the uh, Wild Delight Sizzle and Heat seed, the heat treated seed, uh, the uh, raccoons that are coming up, and the uh, the squirrels, and they left it alone. There's some in shell peanuts. He's trying to pick up another one. I love it. He's got one shoved in there. Oh, he got the second one. Now the blue jay has just flown off. So uh, he, he's over there storing them somewhere uh, repeatedly. So, And the most prolific this time of year in the summer, especially late summer, are the house finches. These are all juvenile house finches. They're, uh, they've, they've had a, a very successful uh, uh, nesting year in my neighborhood. Uh, there's an adult male house finch. Uh, actually, getting you know, he's very quality colorful and also sings a beautiful song they remember they used to sell them as cage birds and they called them hollywood finches um, they, they all they bicker all the time as you can see and they, they're on the feet a lot of interaction between them pecking at each other um, they, that of course illustrates the pecking order in birds but the the, the feeder is uh, really versatile and i at one point um i have the there's a cup that fits in uh, to that, the uh, tan uh, perches, the cup that fits in there that I've been putting mealworms in. And the chickadees and the uh, uh, Carolina wrens really love that, and they were eating all those. There's a tufted titmouse coming in, another of the lover of the sunflower kernels and the peanuts. Uh, and they, uh, <laughs> you can see that's classic titmouse behavior. That's how they crack open their seeds. They hold it between their feet and peck on it. And now the house, male house finches run him off. Uh, the house finches are very, very numerous, and uh, they, I don't know, this uh, this year I've had a lot of reports of the conjunctivitis eye disease, so maybe their numbers are going to get knocked back. Well, the titmouse made it back, the, the house finch left, so he comes back in, you can, you watch, see how vigilant he is, he's watching all around him, uh, tilting his head, looking into the skies, making sure there's no predators. Love to see that pretty salmon color on their on their flanks there. You can see it really well at that angle there. And then again, here he is uh, holding the seed between his feet and pecking on it. This is a juvenile tufted of titmouse, a young one. You see how fluffy he looks. And there's a downy woodpecker in the background. Uh, and then uh, uh, they, oh, uh, I, you see I've turned the feeder the other direction. Now the morning dove. This is a juvenile morning dove. Uh, uh, Going to clean things up. So 
uh, just a variety of uh, birds on the feeder. I thought you might enjoy that. And uh, if you're interested in something like that, you may want to think about getting one of these feeders. They really, really are fun. Thank you for joining in.